Yeah, so I'm Alexis. I teach in the sociology department here. And um, I think I'm here mostly because I took on the job of being the grad coordinator in our department um, and right away saw a lot of um, difficulties that people were having that um, ended up sort of tripling, you know, like proliferating difficulties that could have been addressed earlier um, if there'd been a little bit more of a, a sort of plan. So this is an experiment. As far as I know, we've never offered this in the department. And when I um, mentioned it at grad faculty board that we were going to do it, um, folks were interested. And that's why we had it open to everyone in FAST. So I'm really excited that there's so much interest from so many different departments. Um, and I think it's really great that we're starting to just have some of these conversations about the practicalities. Um, one of the contexts is that a lot of people are experiencing that FGPA has gotten sterner with some of its adherence to timelines. Um, and so one of the things that is on my agenda is uh, wanting there to be less time where students are fighting with FGPA about needing extensions or various things and more time where that energy can just go to writing the dissertation. Um, so the other thing for everyone online this is a free account with Zoom, which means that we'll um, log out every 40 minutes. So that will be in 10 minutes from now. So to come back on, all you'll have to do is just click that link again, and it, it's the same link for each of these times. Um, and we'll be taking breaks when we're doing that. So in the next sort of nine minutes, I just wanna give a map of what we're gonna do. Um, we'll be done probably by five today. Um, earlier, if we don't need more time, um, we can go until 5.30, but I think everyone's, it's a nice, well, it's not really a nice day outside, but there's a limit to how many hours we wanna be in the Loeb building. <laughs> so um, we're gonna start out with just a little bit of thinking about what it means to orient yourself, the people that are close to you and your supervisor and committee to the new reality, where the new reality is you finishing the dissertation this year. Um, then we'll do a little, session that is looking at where you're actually at. So trying to get a kind of clear view of what you've got, what's happening, um, whether you have a title, and thinking about some of the sort of nitty gritty that actually really helps concretize this work. Um, we'll go through this timeline, um, which is uh, DD stands for defense date. Um, and I'll say some things about that. And then we'll also have some part that is about um, the doing. So how to structure what you're doing over the next year um, to uh, finish this. So for this, in my work um, as a writer myself and also as I'm trying to support other people's writing, one of the things that I think is important for us to look at is how we actually work. Um, and then to look at the places where the way that we work uh, supports us, helps us be more engaged, alive, and fluid with our own writing process as creative people. And then to look at how the ways that we work sometimes shut us down, make us really hard on ourselves, um, sort of like cut off the flow of um, possibility. So we'll talk about some of those things. Um, and then also have uh, a bit about at the very end, so basically at the point that you're at, or that you will be at in about a month, um, how to manage up more aggressively your supervisor and committee. Um, but in this first part, we'll also talk about the, um, the supervisors and committee in terms of how they actually work. So the way that I like to do these things is to have some mix of me talking and you reflecting because one of my basic views is that all of you are extremely um, brilliant people who know better than anyone um, what is happening and what you need. And that sometimes just creating some space for self-reflection can open a lot of answers or um, give you insight into questions that you need to ask in order to answer those questions yourself. So um, some of this will feel maybe a little bit cheesy. Um, and so no one has to do anything. But if you're comfortable with it, it's um, worth just giving it a shot. Um, so we're going to start with just looking at our own orientation. So this is 
um, point one A. Um, so at the end of this little note, I say that this is about making the internal shift definitively. Yes. Oh, we don't have enough handouts. Um, so share for right now, and I'll make a couple more copies. Um, does everyone have one that they can look at? OK, great. So making the internal shift definitively. This is the piece where um, you can say, uh, so far in your thesis work, um, there can be some kind of uh, wavering, some kind of lack of confidence, some kind of feeling of like, if someone else tells me that I'm done, maybe then I'll decide that I'm done. One of the things that I've observed is that the point at which you actually finish the dissertation involves a point at which suddenly you kind of uh, ground yourself, you kind of touch into your own ballast, and you have this sense of confidence in your own um, fundamental dignity as a dissertation writer, is how I think about it. This is really important, and as far as I can tell, it happens to everyone who finishes the dissertation. So we talk about this in a lot of different ways. Sometimes we say, this is the point at which you own that you are the person involved with your committee who knows most about the work that you're doing. Um, sometimes we say, this is the point at which you begin to have your own voice in relation to the dissertation. Um, it's the point at which you begin to see what the arc of the whole thing looks like. It's nonlinear, it's a deeply nonlinear. So often you get to this point where a lot of you mentioned, I have all these different parts, but I don't know how they fit together. So having this orientation of like, I'm finishing the dissertation this year, produces like really as if by magic, the capacity to see how all of those things hang together. And it's um, really an interesting space because even if you are someone who wrote a thesis for your MA, the dissertation is the biggest and most complex thing you've done. And it is a thing that kind of by its nature begins with a lot of um, exploration and things that are moving in different places. And there's um, so many different forms it could take. There's so many different pathways you can move through in your dissertation. Um, it's, it's actually extremely protean. Um, it's like a, you know, it has lots of, um, what's the word for stem cells? Um, pluripotent, right? Dissertation work is, it can be so many different things. And um, having some confidence that you actually can land it and make it be the thing that it's going to turn out to have been requires you taking this particular kind of leap. And it's actually pushing against a lot of the norms of academia that you've navigated in order to get to this point. So some of those, just to be really blunt, are needing to be um, deferential and sometimes subservient, depending on your dissertation supervisor. Um, needing to be someone who is not threatening at all, who doesn't stand up for themselves. There's various ways. Needing to be someone whose assessment of their own worth is reliant on someone else's grading them. Um, there's a whole lot of ways that academia produces us as people who have a hard time having that kind of mountainous quality of being like, I'm almost done with this. Um, but that's what happens. And I am really confident that that will happen for all of you if it hasn't already. And that part of the mountainous quality is, and I know what this version of this work that I'm doing is going to be. Um, so the most important reorientation is the reorientation that you make toward your own work as a creative person. And the kind of last like, um, I don't know, view level thing or like looking, uh, or pontificating or whatever I'm doing right now <laughs> is um, just this interesting feature that I think probably you've already begun to see in your work as a, as a creative intellectual, which is that you've probably thought about lots of things over the course of your intellectual career so far. Um, and one of the things that also frequently happens at this stage of the dissertation writing is that you begin to see that even if you've thought about lots of different things or thought about them in lots of different ways, they have 
um, a center of gravity, which is you, more or less, which is some way that you attend to the world and care about the world. And so there's also some uh, quality of abundance that I think can happen at this moment or that maybe necessarily happens at this moment, which is you do not have to do everything that you could do in this dissertation, that you've um, been doing more than this dissertation all along and you will do much more after it, inside of academia, outside of academia. So recognizing that you have become a person who has capacities to write um, much more than you'll include in the dissertation liberates you from feeling like the dissertation has to be everything that you are and could be. Um, and there's also some sort of specific things about how the dissertation is not everything that you are and could be that are, I'll say a little bit more practically about in um, section four. But let's take a little break. So um, we'll uh, turn off the meeting and folks can stretch um, and we'll come back. Does anyone need to have a cigarette? <laughs> no one smokes. Okay, so we'll come back in five minutes then because you don't need a length of cigarette time. We'll take a slightly longer break for our next one. Um, this is most.